call to Darren next. Darren, welcome to the pro program. Hi. Oh, thanks. For, thank you for having me. Hey, uh, you know, I really am having a hard time getting behind Romney. And ever since I was 18, I could not wait to vote. I signed up to vote and started voting. I vote every time for every little thing I can. Always gone Republican. And here we got Romney giving us mandatory health care when he's in, in Massachusetts. He ruins their system, says he made a mistake. I'm not hearing him saying he's going to repeal 100 percent of that bill. And, you know, they, they, have, said, they, actually have, they, no, well, they have said that, Darren. It's going to be it's going to be in the platform. He said it. Ryan has said it. I've heard him say it. But, you know, and you guys all were against this guy until he became the only choice when it got whittled down. And all of a sudden, everybody's saying how, what a great guy he is. He's going to change things. Yet, you know, I can't find a Republican here in almost exclusively Republican Orange County, California, that is willing to say they'll vote for the guy. They're saying, I'm not going to vote. Hell, I'm going to vote for Ron Paul. I'm going to vote for an independent. I'm not going to vote. You know, the Republicans, they've got trouble on their hands. You know, uh, these Republicans, we wouldn't recognize them as being patriotic. If you Darren, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to suggest you're not telling the truth, but let me just tell you that the numbers in the polling are exactly the opposite of what you're saying. The enthusiasm well, level, let me, just, let me just get this out, Darren. I know, you, I know you've got your talking points. Just, just bear with me here. The polling data that is Gallup and, you know, non-conservative polling data indicates uniformly that Republicans are much more enthusiastic about voting for Romney than Democrats are voting for Obama. The polling data also indicates that more people who say they're voting for Obama, not very many, but more, uh, indicate that they would be willing to change their mind by November. That's not true of people who have indicated they're going to vote for Mitt Romney because they are, there are far fewer of them say they are willing to change their mind. So but whatever, I'm saying that there are indications and indices that are exactly the opposite of your personal experience. That is not what we're experiencing in this country at this moment. Well, I get a high volume of customers that come into my work, and they all talk politics. Nobody is for Obama next to nobody that comes in. Of course, we're in the heart of Orange County. It makes sense. And they're all, uh, you know, are you going to vote for Romney? Gee, I guess so. Gosh, what choice do we have? There's no enthusiasm. The only enthusiasm you, that they're going to get is, well, gosh, he's the worst of two evils, I hear an awful lot. Uh, everybody talks Oh, you don't hear that, North. Darren. Uh, goodbye. You don't hear that. I hear an awful lot that he's the worst of two evils. Here's a, the, same, the same seminar caller we had earlier talking about there's not a dime's worth of difference between the two. There's 180 degrees different people. Come on now. Don't call up here and say there's nothing, no difference between Obama and, and Romney. It just, you know, you're going to be, uh, just, just a word of warning, you will be destroyed as a caller because the facts are 100% contradictory to what you're saying. And I just don't believe that, uh, you know, that, uh, that everybody coming into your shop, Darren, is saying, well, that's a just one, you know, lesser of two evil. You know, there's been plenty of elections where I would buy that because I was having that same feeling. Not this election. Not this election, my friend. And, I, and every day I'm giving you one example after another. One example after another about why you can go down one road. I mean, we're at the fork, we're at the fork in the road. And, you know, you, you, could, you can have the advice Yogi Berra gave you. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. But the point is you have to take one or the other of the forks in the road. And we're definitely at a fork in the road. Now, in terms of what I felt about Romney, I had a lot of misgivings about Romney, and I spoke about it, and I wrote about it. But I said from the beginning that any of those Republicans, any of them, including Ron Paul, that wind up to be the choice of a majority of Republican voters I'm going to support because any of them would be a worlds better than the man who is destroying our, our country and destroying our free market, and destroying our opportunity society, and destroying individual responsibility. Let me just go down the list, the laundry list. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I, <laughs> I got to tell you, because I got to take a break. Don't call up here and tell me, oh, they're just the same. Oh, people are not enthusiastic. You know what? If you're not enthusiastic about throwing Obama out of office, you have missed three and a half years of your country's history. 877-84-ROGER, back after this.